Hey guys, how you doing? How's everything going tonight, guys? E-Man, how you doing? Sorry I haven't been really um, going live that much uh, this week. I've, I've had a, a deadline uh, for a sketch card job that I've been trying to get done. It's a lot of sketch cards to do um, before the end of the month. So... Darren, hi. Hector, how are you doing? So, thought I'd get on and just sketch a little bit tonight. Uh, are you finishing up at work? Cool. Yeah. Now I gotta, uh, um, you know, one of the most important things is when you start doing like uh, art jobs and stuff is to stay on deadline and, um, you know, make sure you're not late. Um, it's like one of the most important, important things for me, at least. I, I try to try to make sure that I, uh, if I say I'm going to have something done, I get it done. Because, you know, you, you put a... Uh, you, you create a good reputation for yourself and you're going to get hired again, you know? That's what, that's what uh, people want. They want you to, to get stuff done. So, no matter, no matter even if it's hard or something that I don't want to draw, sometimes it's, it's uh, you know, certain projects are a little bit harder for me to get into or have like a, you know... Yeah, some artist block, but you got to get past it, and that's you got to just create on demand, you know. But it's going good. I'm I'm almost there with it. Uh, this this month I I had to do a hundred and I want to say it was. Uh, 33, 30, 120 cards, and I have to have them done by the uh, end of the month. Um, so, it's looking good so far. I think I'll, I think I'll be there. I think I'm gonna make it. You know, I uh, the more the more I do the sketch card jobs, the the easier it gets like I remember the first set that I did I think it was uh, like 50 cards and it was for upper deck right and I I just had and I had a lot of time I mean it was like maybe like two or three months to do it you know or it, it the deadline was pretty uh pretty uh you know far away from when they when I got the cards so um, and I thought that was hard, but then like slowly over, uh, the course of doing them and, you know, uh, getting more assignments for whatever reason, the car, the card number has increased, but the days, uh, to do it have, uh, decreased. So it's forced me to kind of, um, you know, get faster, you know, under pressure. So. It's good. So now a hundred and something doesn't seem like as that that bad, or it doesn't seem like as scary. So, but it you know, work is work. Sometimes work can be uh, um, hard to do, but I guess I'm lucky. I could be doing something worse. Hey, peanut butter. 
Hi, Andy. How you doing? So I'm just doodling. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions or wanna uh, want me to, you know, draw something, uh, explain how to do something, something like that, anything to keep the conversation going or or whatever, I'm more than happy to to um, oblige. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, I know I haven't been, uh, live in a few days and it's mostly just because of deadlines. So, but that's a good thing. I got, you know, I got work to do. So I'm not complaining, just high five. So I made uh I made a new brush, um, and that's the one I'm using right now. It's uh it's a it's a lot like the the Kniff Steady Brush that I have in my brush pack. Um, it's uh it's called uh, Chunky Monkey. Can I draw a Green Lantern? Uh yeah yeah I'll draw I'll draw a Green Lantern. Um. So it, it's the properties of this brush are a little bit different than the other one. It's it's inky, but it's more it's got more of like a a, a flat um, edge to it. So like if I'm making, it's a little bit more angular, almost almost like a cross between a, um, uh, a brush pen and a and a, like a chisel tip marker. So. Um, and I'm, I'm going to make a new brush pack, uh, soon. I want to, I want to come up with a, a bunch of ink, ink brushes, uh, to put out there. So I'm still playing around with that. Um, I, 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 J Kelly asks, uh, where can you find more of my art? Pretty much all, all the stuff that, uh, you know, I do is, is, mostly on Instagram. Um, I do have sketch cards out there, um, in the wild. I know you can buy some on eBay. I see people selling them. Um, the, the Marvel ones I've done for upper deck. Um, and then, uh, if you're interested in seeing some comic work I've done, you can go to, uh, Gorilla Publishing. Uh, can't remember i think it's gorillapublishing.com maybe and it's uh the name of the comic i did and i did like five you know like it was a short five page story um i did uh what's it called tales from the cryptic closet too so but yeah if you guys are interested you guys could check that out It's a super nice brush. Just with, yeah, it it is uh like a, like I've been like I said I've been playing with it a little bit. Um, I've also made this one too. Uh, I just just made this one, and this is called the uh, Ink Harry. So um, I made it for like making like hair and stuff. So it's kind of got a nice effect to it. You see, you can kind of do. Um, layers of hair real real quickly oh thanks Kelly hey how you doing uh, McCarty yeah so this is this is cool I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one in there too like so I, I've been experimenting um, because everybody's been real cool and uh, about the uh, you know the other other brushes I put out uh, 
and a lot of guys have been real generous and have dropped a, a couple bucks and I really appreciate it. So I, so I wanted to, uh, put together a couple of, um, other brushes, uh, out there, uh, and start playing with them and trying to, trying to create a, you know, a big, big, nice brush back, um, for folks. So. And it's cool to get to play with the the brush uh the brush settings and stuff and procreate and and uh you know uh figure out how to uh make things by uh actually like scanning in images and stuff and and make turning them into brushes so it's been kind of fun thanks trout um what is it? I'm not sure what you mean, McCarty. Uh, Deham, big fan. Been loving your G.I. Joe series. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. I'm glad you, I'm glad people are liking them. Um, so I'm going to draw Green Lantern. We'll see how it goes. So usually, you know, I use a Loomis method of uh, of laying in my heads most of the time. Start with a, a circle. Create like a side plane. And you cross for uh, center line of the face. Put in the jaw. the shoulder trap shoulder drawing green lantern always want to try to get oops What hand is uh, Green Lantern's ring on? Does anybody know offhand? Or do I gotta look it up? I'm not sure, is it the right or the left? <laughs> yeah. It's funny when you think about that kind of stuff. Like when I'm drawing characters, especially ones I don't draw all the time, um, you know, just doing the research to try to, to you know, get those little details right. Yeah, I feel like it would be on the... Uh, yeah, I'm, I feel like it'd be on the right. So if it's on the right, this would be the left hand. So then what I want to do... To make that the right hand, I'm gonna flip this. Go here. Flip horizontally. There you go. Now it's on the right hand. Whenever I do these headshots, I try to get a. Uh, it's nice to put like a hand or something in the, in frame. It just kind of. Uh, I don't know. Adds a little something to the. Uh, the picture hand in here block this in like that Um, and up this. Back a little bit. Wait, 
I'm gonna bring it up a little bit for a little more drama. Something like that. He's kind of flying up in the air, I guess. All right, so let's get back to the head. Oh, that's cool. It can tell if you touch the screen with your pencil or your hand. That's yeah. It rejects it rejects the palm uh, when I have if I have the pencil up here. It'll it'll reject my palm, but if I just have my finger on it, it'll it'll draw. Um, and then every time I tap on it uh, with two fingers, it'll it'll uh, undo. If I go three fingers, it'll redo. So those are some of the quick gestures, and you can edit those in the um, in the menu up here. Uh, in the corner, there's a, uh, where is it at? In the wrench, I think it is. Uh, they have all kinds of uh, settings that you can do and uh, change things, so. That's why I like Procreate uh, so much. It's, it's really, really nice uh, tool. You know. They, they really did a nice job uh, putting it together and, and making it uh, have, you know, th things that are very intuitive. So, but like I said, now, now when I draw on like paper, like every now and again, I'll like, I'll like tap with two fingers um, or I'll tap, I'll double tap my pencil to change to eraser just uh, cause I'm like so used to drawing doing that. Hi Christian. So like I said guys if you guys have any questions please uh, shoot them in the chat. Um, I'm more than happy to try to answer anything than I can. So now what I'm doing is I'm uh, blocking in like some kind of primitive shapes uh, just for so like a triangle or like a pyramid shape for the nose. Um, I'm just getting everything set up for for um, the details right now. And I used to. Uh, when I was younger and I would draw, I'd always start, you know, like, especially if I was drawing faces, I would always start from the eyes. I would start at the eyes and then I would work out uh, from there. And when I, when I was a little bit older and I started to like, try to learn how to draw, you know, like more academically, uh, a lot of the books that I learned from like Andrew Loomis, they were more concerned about like that main, like um, that main shape of the head and getting those in before you do any of the features and uh, you know, working on the overall like construction of the drawing. And that made a huge difference when I started doing things like that. Oh, that's your problem for the longest time. Yeah, I hear you. Like, um, I mean, I, I, I don't always, uh, I mean, every now and again, I'll do something like that. I mean, you guess, I guess, uh, you should always have a bunch of different ways to approach things. But I, I found like, you know, I, I, I made a lot of progress and stuff and it was able, I was able to understand more angles when I, when I came at it like that. 
and problems for the longest time. I never used to draw the eyes. I was scared to. Yeah, eyes are eyes are um, can be complicated, and uh, you know it's such a focal point uh, for people. You know, because when you're looking at people, you're usually looking at their eyes or into their eyes or whatever. Um, so it's definitely something that we as humans find very important the eyes so like if if there is like something a little bit off about him you know you definitely notice it his head is way too small there you go that's a little better and then drop it down make less of a And that kind of goes back a little bit. Drop down. Collarbone. Come in here. Bring his shoulder up like that and give him more of a, give his body more of a turn. Like that. That feels a little better. Hi, Johnny. Uh, I am trying to draw a Green Lantern. Hal would be, he wouldn't really have sideburns, at least I don't feel like my version would. Block his hair in. I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for Hal Jordan, but I have to look and see what his mask look like. I think his nose is covered in his mask. You know, John Stewart was uh, John Stewart was always my Green Lantern because I grew up on the. Um, Justice League cartoon and Justice League Unlimited. Oh yeah, he's got to cover his nose. Is... Interesting. Let me think of how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do that. I guess it would be like that. This would be interesting to see how I address this mask because he's got his nose is covered in it. So I'd be like, they don't look like that in the corpse or air force. I'm not sure what you mean. Are you mean? Do you mean his hair or his uh, sideburns? Trout. Curious. of a bull neck. The sideburns. 
I got you. I got you. You know, um, I've been trying to be more conscious about like how I how how big I make my uh, my characters. Like I want them to be, especially the superheroes. I want them to be strong, but I don't want them to be like super bulky. I want to have more. Um, I want to try to to create different like body types. So I've been trying to watch watch out for that. I feel like. Um, I used to always draw like uh really like big like super like ripped like bodybuilder guys but I feel like uh you know it's it's nice to have like a little bit of a variety of uh you know characters uh and body body types like for like the heroes you know i want them to be strong but i don't want them to be like everyone doesn't need to be like the hulk yeah it's coming it's it's getting there um darren says a lot of the big members of the geo corps are pretty cool yeah they i've always uh really liked uh the concept of green lanterns and stuff um I always thought it was real cool the the power ring and being able to create like um all these different uh things. Thanks, Ovian. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah, you don't get how he stays in shape. The ring does everything for him. Yeah, I yeah I I hear you must uh, work out a lot on the weekends or something. I don't know when he's off, or maybe maybe his mind. It's uh, so much uh, mind exercise. His his body, uh, you know, has to stay strong to keep up. I'm trying to fix this a little bit. Are you going to color it during the live as well? I'm interested in seeing how you choose. Yeah, sure. I'm I'm going to color. Um, I just need to. Uh, now I got like the basic like stuff going on here. So now it's just like refining things. So and getting things the way I want them. The picture. Make this a little bigger. This is always the. Uh, <laughs> the fun part, I guess. Yeah, um, uh, Darwin and, and, and Bruce, uh, Tim are very, very big influences. Um, I always, I always, um, you know, especially, I mean, Bruce, Tim, especially, you know, cause I grew up watching, uh, all those cartoon shows, uh, that he had such a big, big hand in creating. And I just like that, like, uh, kind of classic uh, aesthetic to the characters. That they both kind of, uh, you know, developed. Especially Darwin. Yeah, Spider-Man stays fit, swinging around. I liked a lot of human Green Lanterns, but I love Kilowog. Yeah, Kilowog's awesome. You know, uh, I remember I would I would go around calling everybody poosers. You know, and they'd be like, what the hell did you say? I think I gotta place his ear a little bit different. So, ear usually ends up about there. 
there. Maybe the ear's got to be just a little bit smaller. You know, even though this is uh, obviously a, um, you know, cartooned and stylized, I still want to try to watch like different proportions and stuff to try to make it more um, believable, you know. Get rid of his skull there. Now that I know where the hair is. I play with his hairline a little bit and. So now it's just, like I said, it's all about refining shapes. So, almost there. So I don't like that one. I think his eye is a little... Again, guys, like I, like I keep saying, if you guys have any questions, please uh, shoot them in the chat. Play with this mask a little bit. I'm going to make it a little bigger. It feels better. So much of what I uh, what I do is is just like okay I'm I'm draw a little bit in and then see how it feels if it feels good I'll leave it if not then I'll erase it out and try to go for it again. It's uh it's a little unorthodox I guess. Leave that eye in or out. Let's see, maybe if I trying to figure out how to uh, add some. something to them, some dark shapes to the mask just to break it up a little bit. So. It can be tricky trying to figure out like where to put your blacks and stuff, or at least for me. Uh, I, always, I always just do, um, you know, a little, I have to try things, see how it, see how it feels and then adjust from there. I like that. 
feel like that works. Some more shadow. Okay. I give him something down here on his kind of like a cast shadow down there. And then it looks like his arm is black. Usually when I got all black in there, I will just make it solid. I could feather it or something, but I'm not I'm not really good at that type of thing. Spotting blacks is tough. I'm just getting into more comic style art. Something is pretty tough. Yeah, it, it is it is tough. Um, you know, it's a lot a lot tougher than like when I first started doing it, I was so like scared of messing my drawings up cuz uh you know, I when I when I started, I did not want to do digital anything, you know. And the tools weren't uh um I mean, they were they were definitely there just I, I couldn't afford them at the time. Thank, uh, thanks, Mark. Or Mark Cant, oh four. Hopefully, I said that right. No, no. Sal, thank you. All right, let's bring his shoulder up a little bit more. Over here. Okay. Throw some black in there. And since he's he's kind of stretching out, I want to make sure I You know what I like about this uh the the brushes, um, and I like I like how this brush acts with uh, the thick to th uh, thick to thin lines. You know, it's really easy for me to uh, get them in there just by just like a little bit of pressure. You know, it's like so close to like an actual brush pen for for myself at least, I guess. You know, I always uh, when I when I first started inking, like I was saying before, um, like I'd be so scared to, uh, you know, mess my mess my drawings up, and I would and I thought I would be like, you know, I'd use the uh, tech pens like uh, microns and stuff like that. What iPad is that you're using? This is a uh, twelve inch uh, iPad Pro. Um, thanks, Gruntly. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I thought I would always, you know, tech pens, because it's like a pen, you know, it's not not a brush or anything. I thought brush pens would be like really hard, and uh, you know, that I would have more luck with uh, a regular like pen, you know, because you use them all the time, or most people do, use regular pens, and uh, no, that wasn't the case. It was. Uh, I found that I gravitated more towards uh, brush pens. Like I don't, I don't know what it is. Like uh, I just I felt like I had more control, or maybe, maybe it was. Uh, I guess if I think about it, maybe it's because it was because of the, you know, it's it kind of almost has its own mind, you know, and and it can be expressive, and it was uh, so it's much closer to what my. Uh, my drawing style would be, which is uh, really pretty loose. You gotta work on this hand. So this is this is good. You guys get to see me struggle with uh, my hands. I prefer the effects of a brush pen. They feel super organic. Yeah, and I think that's what it is. The 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 organicness of him. 
Mont, how are you doing? Montan, hopefully I said that right. do is I want to make trying to simplify the hand a little bit more so there's a delicate balance in there you know like making things simple and but uh, you know uh, still like readable and believable Thank you very much. There you go, that's that's probably good enough. There's that. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try my hairbrush. Just add a little something. Hold on one second, guys. Let me uh, shut my door. Sorry, my dog came in. He just burst into the door. back up. Okay. All right. So I'm getting close with this one. Um, I wanted to try the, the hairbrush to add some little bit of texture. his hair too dark <clears throat> I don't think that works with this I feel like it's too uh, since it's so feathery um, just because of the the way I'm drawing right now is, is more um, it's definitely leaning uh, more cartooned the the style that's that I'm doing right now so I don't want to yes it's a lot of graphic shapes and like hard lines I don't, I don't want to feather it too much change the feel all right let's see what does Hal's ring look like Does it matter? Yeah, it matters. Someone's gonna, if I, if I draw it wrong, or in the wrong hand, somebody will say something. Okay, so it looks like it's a, huh, it's on his middle finger. I did not know that. Always use reference, guys. It's important. Let's see. Yeah, it's on his middle finger. I would not have... I don't think I ever noticed that before. Interesting. Yeah, someone's definitely going to notice. So it's been real interesting drawing all the uh, G.I. Joes and stuff, um, you know, going and trying to uh, research uh, and see what um, some of the details on the characters are. Um, 
you know, growing growing up, I I would watch an episode here and there. Um, uh, you know, it was like a little bit before me. Like I was mostly like uh, I was big into like Ninja Turtles and um, and those uh, those kind of cartoons. And I just, uh, you know, I, I didn't really catch GI Joe as much. Um, I think I mostly watched it on USA. If if that's that's right, where where was uh, what channel it was on? And I think it, by that time it was like reruns. Thanks, I appreciate that, uh, peanut butter. I've definitely been having fun with them. Um, and I've been, and I've gone back and started watching, uh, a lot of the, uh, episodes on, um, on YouTube. Hasbro has like a, like a live stream of the episodes that's just constantly playing. So like when I've been drawing them, I've been uh, watching them. So it's been kind of cool. It's like so it's it's an awesome show. I mean, I definitely uh you know can see why it was so popular. And still is popular. People are uh, love that show, or love that franchise in general. You know. No, he's got more of a. You need to square that off. Savage Dragon, Wildcats. Um, do you do you remember uh Swamp Thing on USA? That was, that's that's the one I remember that was like really weird. Yeah, you USA. I watched USA a lot as a kid, they, and I would watch uh, Up All Night. Um, so that's where I like got to see a lot of uh, like horror movies and and movies I probably shouldn't have been watching, but you know, were really awesome. Yeah, you know, uh, I was so. It seems like a lot of the older ones, like uh, I think the first ones, didn't have the PSAs as much or something. Because I've been watching uh, on like on YouTube, a lot of the a lot of the episodes, you know, they didn't have the PSAs, and then uh, I finally started to come uh, come across some that do have the PSAs. Like the the, the last one I watched, uh, the PSA was uh, these kids. They were they were like riding a bike, and I think they were trying to beat a train, and then General Hawk comes out and says whoa no guys don't do that you know um so i thought it was it was great all right clean this up a little bit Now, let's kind of make this on a different layer. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop him out. I'm gonna go to here. Make that a circle. So, um, just cause, just because, yeah, <laughs> near crisis averted. Uh, so, procreate fast way to make a circle you, you can draw it you hold you hold the pen without taking it up 
that, that that'll like snap it to an ellipse put your finger down perfect circle right um so what i want to do is i want to make uh his uh his symbol so i'm going to duplicate the circle i'm going to drop it in so now i got like a concentric circle i'm going to whoops three what is it three finger swipe and that's going to bring up this menu right here i'm going to duplicate it one more time and i'm going to make the the inner circle i'm going to try to get it um and the reason why i'm doing this is so now everything's like coming off this uh, almost like the center so i'm going to get that close do it one more time three finger swipe duplicate I'm gonna drop another one in the middle I'm gonna make this a little bit uh, fatter <laughs> Photoshop can't do that yeah I mean Photoshop's got different different ways around but yeah it's it's this is like super easy Yeah, Illustrator, I have, um, I know basic stuff in Illustrator. So now I have all these duplicate layers. Every time I duplicate like that, it creates a layer. I'm going to crash all those down into to, to one layer. I'm going to go one more above, and now I am going to make a rectangle. Whoop. going to edit shape, rectangle. Boom, now I got a rectangle. Like that. There. Boom, it's a rectangle. I'm gonna erase out what I don't want because I got it on a different layer. Then I'm gonna three finger swipe, duplicate. And then now at the bottom, there's another, whoops. At the bottom, there's another menu. I can go flip vertical, turn it upside down, bring it up to the top, my circle. See, that's over a little bit. I think what I gotta do is I gotta make, maybe shave some off here. Drop, drop a line there. Go back to the other layer, do the same thing. There you go. Now I'm gonna go to the circle. Erase out what I don't need. And now I got his, his symbol for the most part, his uh, chest signal. But what I wanna do too now is kinda just add I don't know, maybe some some different uh, line weight to it a little bit. That would be the only downside to doing all those kind of uh, circles like that. Um, it does kind of uh, make the lines a little bit uh, stiffer. And a little bit of a more dead line, so like a uh, like a tech pen line or whatever so I'm going at a screw with the line weights a little bit and there there you go so I'm gonna merge all of those bring Hal back up hit the symbol you know it's on top and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of I guess because he's he's kind of angled I'm gonna rotate it and then I am going to kind of maybe I want to distort
Yeah, it does. Sometimes it does. Uh, you know, it's uh, the nice thing uh, with the the brushes that I have, and the uh, you know, like most of my lines aren't really um, straight to begin with. It's very it's forgiving most of the time. Uh, you can't even tell that I did uh, that. There is like some choppiness to the lines because there's already um, that kind of aesthetic to the to the drawing already. I might want to. I'm gonna try to warp it a little bit. Just to kind of make it. That's a little better. I'm gonna erase out what I don't want. Although we kind of got some. Watch like where the tangents. I don't want any tangents in here, so take some of this out. It's not too bad, I guess. Get rid of this guy here. that okay so let's do something different here I'm gonna all right so I'm gonna merge those so now we got one layer again I go over here. I'm going to create We'll see, I'm going to play with this. We'll see if this works. What I'm going to do here. Nope. I got a new layer. Let's merge that. Go like this. Try to clean up the shape a little bit more. Drop that out. Like that. Clean that shape up. Thanks, Bruno. So 
So now it's just refinement. Clean up the the shapes I like and the sh and okay. Let's clean his neck up a little bit. Get rid of it. And you just let the shapes kind of speak for themselves in there. Sorry, I'm being a little bit more quiet, guys. It's usually, that's usually when you can tell I'm thinking. So that's that's where we're at. So, um, so a, a couple of things I just want to, these little, again, now I'm thinking about, you know, making these lines a little crisper and cleaning up uh, a couple of the shapes. Thanks, E-Man. All right. That. Let's try. No, I don't like that. All right, so now I'm going to, uh, I could leave it like this, or I think I'm going to try to color it. Drop a layer below. And then I'm going to turn, I'm going to leave that normal. And then I will just throw in some color. So I have like uh, just colors that I've saved for like skin tones. They have in here. I have like uh, this one that I use for all like Caucasian uh, colors for the most part. And then I will adjust it depending on, uh, you know, the person's complexion so but this is where I usually start with this one Let's go through color so for that now I'll go to hair I have a, a brown color that I generally use in all my drawings I don't really change up my palette um and I got these uh these colors from an uh a DC uh comics coloring uh guide uh that was that they used uh to use for coloring comics uh back in the day if you search google you can you can find it um 
it's like a, a guide with all like the die numbers and stuff that they used for uh, coloring back then. So, the reason why I I did that is I, I saw a um, a video by Jonathan Rector on YouTube, and uh, he had mentioned that, and all the colors are you know already picked out uh, by professionals or whatever. So I was like, all right. So if if they they think these colors work together, they you know they probably do. So I just kind of stuck with it. For the most part, they do work pretty good together. Make his hair green, yeah. All right, so I think since I have uh, since I lost, I'm losing the line there. I think I'm gonna do the. Um, all of this, this background part green too, so it kind of keeps with, uh, um, kind of unifies everything. And these are all just different choices, you know that uh, I'm making. What's my favorite Jack Kirby character? The Demon. That's easy. The Demon is my favorite character from Jack Kirby. I don't know what it is about Etrican, but like I've ever since I first that was introduced to him on um on what you call it uh Justice League, I think. It was either Justice League or I saw him on an episode of uh I think it was Batman. I saw him on an episode of Batman once. Uh it was the New Adventures of Batman and Robin, I think it was. And I just, I just thought he was super cool. I recently rewatched that episode too. They got all the, uh, they got them all on HBO Max now. It's nice. I, I'll, I'll, uh, if I got nothing else to watch, I'll kind of drop in and watch a few episodes. I I, I like to um, watch uh, cartoons to to get like uh, inspiration and stuff. Still, and and just kind of look at how they how they animated and their shapes that they're using and things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see you know like what he what that movie was going to look like with without all the uh the studio interference i mean he definitely has a vision for things i mean i like the other things he he's done before you know so we'll see we'll see what happens i mean ultimately they they probably rushed a little bit i think um to go to Justice League. Um, you know, instead of building it up a little bit. Taking their time, but... You know... Is what it is now. Okay, so we got that. And... So this, you know, this looks okay now. I could, I could leave it uh, flat flat color or I can add a little bit of uh, add some little bit of shadow actually his ring's going to be imagine his ring is lit let me see let me see what I can do for that and do a layer on top how would I do that screen, maybe? Let's try this. Okay. 
it wasn't Batman Brave and the Bold. Uh, it was it was definitely the older Batman show. Uh, but I think it was like a later season. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, they were they were I mean, how could how could you not? Marvel was being so success they were so successful at that time. You know, they're like you know, they were they needed to catch up or they felt like they needed to catch up even though they didn't, you know. But uh yeah. Yeah, that isn't that interesting. I mean, I don't think that's how how it initially came out, but and it didn't seem like they were in order because I always remember, uh, or maybe I'm I could be wrong. I always thought, uh, I think when I was looking through it the other day, it said like there was a Catwoman episode was the first episode. I thought it was um, the Man Bat was the first one. Let's just go to overlay, white, oh, that doesn't work, no it's not overlay, it is, sorry, soft light. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm just going to leave it flat. I'm just going to leave it a flat color this time, guys. All right, let me just clean, get rid of that. Drop the green in again. That's it. I think I'm going to just leave it like that tonight. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I don't really, uh, I don't really play a lot of, uh, DC games versus Marvel ones. When I was a kid, it felt like there were new episodes every week for like half a year. Yeah, there were. There was a lot. Man Bat was the pilot. Yeah, okay, that's why I... It's what they presented the producer of the show. I, You know, I remember... And that was a two-parter, right? Because I, I, I actually remember watching it when it premiered and it premiered like at night it was like prime time I think yeah I mean sometimes uh, it does it feels it feels uh, good to just leave things flat I think but yeah so that's how So, anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out tonight. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Make it shine. That would be a r real night on the ring. I could try that just on the ring. Let's try with the... I'm trying to think how I would do that with the white in there. Anyway. Alright guys, yeah, thanks thanks for uh, hanging out tonight. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to get back to work and try to finish these... Uh, these cards uh, again I'll post this um, uh, like right away uh, so if you guys want to rewatch it or whatever and then I'm also gonna put it on uh, YouTube and uh, just a reminder I do have a YouTube channel I'm trying to grow it so if you want to um, support me please go over to YouTube I post like a lot of uh, process videos with uh, 
mostly time lapse stuff. Um, Brave and the Bold is awesome. It's an awesome show. I really, I really like it. I like, I like the the attitude that it uh, that they went for and the the feel of it. You know, really light and uh, and I like the fact that they introduce you to all these different characters from the DC universe. Uh, you know, so many that I had I had never heard of when I when I first watched it, and then it kind of has like a special place in my heart because I I watched a lot of. Um, I watched it when it was first coming on with my with my kids when they were uh, younger, so. Um, but yeah, so I like I said I have a YouTube channel. the The link is in my link tree, which is in the profile on Instagram. If you go to that, it all has all the links to all my other social uh, stuff. So you got Instagram, my Gum Road. If you like the brushes I use and stuff, and you want to try them out, you can go pick them up over there. Um, yeah, command, commandy, yep. Absolutely. Uh, thanks, peanut, peanut butter. I appreciate you subscribing. But uh, anyway, um, you guys uh, take care, and I will uh, talk to you real uh, soon. Thanks, peanut butter. Oh, that was on there. Sorry, guys. I hope nobody got hurt when that crashed down. Take it easy, guys. Bye.